The water is still open, but it's one main floor, so it's in a lot of problem, but I'm not going to worry about it too much.
All that's missing is a hat and broomstick. Oh. Right guys, uh, I'm going to make this little stop for you. I have to be totally honest here. Uh, there's certain rules at this one. We're not allowed to, to trouble the hotel here in any way, okay? Uh, the facilities at the hotel are for residents only. Okay, so we're not allowed to trouble in any way. It's going to be just be for a few minutes of stop anyway. It's going to be for photos, but there's another reason I'm making a stop. Uh, there's some health and safety attached to it. We are going to feed the wild deer. Okay? So uh, you can see my good friend Buddy is sat there waiting. You'll see his antlers. Buddy lost his antlers about nine, ten weeks ago. He's got them back again. They're covered in velvet. There he is sitting there. Back in yoga. I'll give him a shout. Give me a minute. Buddy! Hi, Buddy! Buddy! Come on. Good boy. rude and aggressive but if you don't give him enough money he throws it back at you uh, but he is English <laughs> I kid you not he's English I've, I've spoken to him and uh, I said to him the other week there he came over and shook my hand and said so where are you actually from me and he said well I was born in Scotland that I was in the armed forces uh, but I've been living uh, down in England while I was in the armed forces and I thought I thought to myself you're as Scottish as uh, Saddam Hussein or someone, you know, you're, you've no Scottish blood in you whatsoever, you know, uh, the broad English accent, it was, uh, but uh, this guy up here, his uh, father and grandfather for generations have been playing the bagpipes here, so I hope he's here, his name's Willie, a really nice guy, free Willie. Anyway, uh, there's another movie that you're just going to take a little uh, scene from in just a moment. If we have any Harry Potter fans, uh, you get to see a little section of mountains that are in the latest Harry Potter movie. I'm not a Harry Potter fan, I have to be honest. And if I was, I wouldn't, I wouldn't admit it. I have to be honest. But there's also another little point of interest I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, this is a pretty sad one. Uh, it really is. The White Bungalow, you see a very famous radio disc jockey. 